Andrew Tate is a grifter, alleged human trafficker, and unfortunately, and this is true, a CoffeeZilla fan. CoffeeZilla, who actually kind of respected and thought had a brain. That is until I investigated him. Now he's having a meltdown and doesn't like me anymore. This is my statement to you, CoffeeZilla. You're a f Nobody's scared of your investigation. I don't give a f about your video. I don't respect your journalism. Ah, uh, yes. The normal reaction for people who don't care. Melting down on Twitter about how not worried you are. We'll come to Tate's mental breakdown in a moment, but you should know this isn't Tate and I's first run-in. He didn't like it when I exposed his Get Rich Quick scheme over a year ago, but this time Tate stepped into my territory. Said he was gonna launch a crypto coin. So I immediately pointed out that over a year ago, Tate said that he didn't need to rob his fans and he wasn't gonna launch a coin. Tate replied, imagine being such a great detective, you can't detect a joke. Now I'll admit that one stung a little bit. And when I did some research, I realized I had been tricked. Are you gonna launch your own crypto? No, I'm never gonna launch a crypto. I just like to f with crypto. Hey, we back with another reaction. Now y'all see. Now the crazy thing about it, I actually, in the beginning, I actually liked some of the things Andrew Tate actually spoke about. Like some of his points, he made some good points. Now I totally despise Andrew Tate. I despise mainly all of these alpha dodos. Andrew Tate, the fresh and fit dude. I don't even understand how y'all even let them scam y'all. The big buff, the big buff white guy, I forget his name, the one who was in prison, they all fallen. Cause obviously they all really not even like that. Like I love what Coffee Zella said about Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is what you call a nerd on steroids. Him and his brother. They're nerds on steroids. <laughs> That's what they are. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Well, put your cash up in the comments, man. You know how I do. Also, if you want to join the thousand dollar giveaway, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel. Go follow me on Instagram at 200 underscore extra and the giveaway. We'll be doing a giveaway live on this channel October 22nd. You don't want to miss it, man. But hey, I ain't gonna hold y'all for too long. Let's get into the video, fam. Because crypto Twitter are full of the biggest degenerate losers on the planet. They're losers. Crypto is the only scenario I can think of where you can make a whole bunch of money while benefiting society zero. Well, there you have it. I mean, I can apologize. I can admit when I'm wrong. Clearly it was a joke. Tate would never actually scam people with a coin. Oh, turns out he did multiple times and now is planning to launch a coin if you stay subscribed to his Get Rich Quick scheme. So we're gonna talk about all of that. We're gonna investigate it. But first we have to catch up with the Tate brothers. What have they been up to besides getting arrested? Most people know the Tates from clips talking about the Matrix, politics, and feminism, but the two brothers have made almost all their money from something else. According to Tate, the way they got rich was webcams. Taking advantage of lonely men, they bragged about it. And me and my brother, and eventually some staff I trained, would do all the talking. The girls were just pure, just famousers. We were taking their money, all of it. And then they broke into male empowerment, which is ironic teaching dating, manliness, and of course, money. You could join Hustlers University for $49 a month, where the best hustle was students reselling the course to their friends, which actually got the Tates quite popular because they encouraged the students to post their videos everywhere. But with that popularity came scrutiny as old clips of the webcam business started surfacing and not everyone found it as funny as Andrew did. PhD is a pimp and hose degree that I'm... Yeah, that didn't age really that well. Now, eventually, Romanian courts charged the Tate brothers with human trafficking. And although the Tates deny these claims, the PH- He's like one of the most stupidest, weirdest dudes ever. The reason is, is because this shows you why you shouldn't speak. The Bible says an ignorant man is of many words, meaning that an ignorant man is always talking. And that's what he basically did. He exposed himself through all the talking he was he been doing. He just told on himself. He talked too much. Just always remember that an ignorant man is of much speech. So the one that's always talking, all just always running his mouth. Most likely the most ignorant one in the room. The course almost perfectly describes the lover boy method, which is a type of human trafficking. 
Most of the Tate's fans aren't even aware of these allegations because the Tate brothers have become experts at what I like to call the rebrand. This is where you completely 180 on a topic and pretend you never changed your mind. And this will be important later when we come to crypto. But watch for a second how Andrew Tate, a guy who made his money running webcams, now talks about the entertainment business while wearing a turtleneck. Let's accept pornography is bad for a society. Mm -hmm. Let's accept that to be a fact. It, is, a it fact. is true. Okay. Yeah. Why are they trying to destroy the society? Who are these people? What is their end goal? Is their end goal the of children? Is their end goal 12 year olds to sit there and watch and want to have I mean, the balls to say, what are they up to? What, what do you think their goal is? Bro, you are they. If there was a cabal, <laughs> you're part of it. You admit to making millions of dollars making the kind of stuff That's you're now I'm, claiming. This is what I'm talking about. He always telling on himself he talked too freaking much. He's a freaking clown, man. Is ruining the youth. That is the skill that Tate has honestly mastered. And we're gonna watch them use that with crypto as well. Either way though, these criminal charges have put a lot of pressure on the Tate brothers who've had cars, cash, and computers seized. And amidst all of that, crypto has become much more interesting to them. Not that the Tates are new to crypto, of course, but they've sort of fully embraced the crypto meme coin grift. And just like with the webcams, they do a bit of a rebrand. My problem with crypto is that it instigated a culture which I didn't like. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the crypto culture as a whole because the culture was based on getting in early, which I mean, I guess you could argue is a skill, but to a degree is luck. Gambling, rug pulls, staying anon, hiding like a little coward in a hole, like a little bitch. And just being a D-Gen, laughing about how you're a re Once I decided I was gonna fix it, I decided I had to come up with an idea that allowed people to make money from the things they should make money from, mm -hmm. which is hard work. There it is, the Tates are here to fix crypto. It used to be full of scams, rug pulls, and anons before Andrew Tate got involved, but now everything's about to change. So we're gonna look at the coins that Andrew and his brother promoted, and see what kind of fixing they got up to, starting with Roost. Honestly, this is your textbook Ponzi coin, exactly the type of thing Tate would call a scam a year ago, but now he and his brother heavily promoted it over multiple videos. They even had flyers in their videos. And of course, during the promotion, the price did well. But when it was over, Roost is now down over 90%. Not only that, Roost's treasury wallet got hacked. So the community literally got scammed. And to make it worse, the guy who got hacked was anonymous. So. Remind me what Andrew Tate doesn't like about crypto again? Gambling, rug pulls, staying anon, hiding like a little coward in a hole, like a little b Oh, the same thing he promoted. But of course, Tate claims that he doesn't hold coins, he doesn't endorse coins, and he makes zero money. That is until other crypto promoters got tired of his grip and called him out for doing the same paid promotions they were doing. But you don't have to believe that guy. You can also look at the time Tate got exposed for trying to get Baron Trump to let him buy Donald Trump tokens at a lower price. In exchange, he'd pump it. So much for not owning coins, I guess. That was brought to my attention by Zach XBT, who also pointed out that Tate promoted something called Binum Blockchain. His brother talked about it on a live stream. Bitcoin, ETH, exciting stuff like Venom Network. And of course, that price is down as well. Tate also promoted F Madonna tokens. And of course, that ended badly too. This stuff is such garbage. Here's another one of Tate's coins, which is down over 90% as well. Or you can look at this coin, Daddy Token. You know, which makes sense given that Tate is sick of crypto being infantile, childish, and degenerate. And that's just the start of it. That's just the sludge you have to walk through to get to the main token. The main project Tate keeps promising, which is real world token. All of those others, if you want to believe Tate, were just promotions. Tate claims that this is the coin he's actually behind. You know why he's doing it? The reason Tate doing this is because he's going broke. Think about it. How's, how does Tate even make money? The only thing we know about is his webcam and his... That's why he moved to Romania so he can traffic females and all of that. But now he's got a spotlight on him so bright because he's got caught. To where it's like, how can you make money? So now his, his next step is literally to go back on everything he went against and try to scam. That shows you, he's freaking terrible, bro. Terrible. And it's tied to his paid course. It used to be called Hustlers University. Now it's called 
the real world. Now, this has always kind of been the biggest part of Tate's businesses, uh, this get rich quick scheme. But the problem with monthly subscriptions is of course that people drop out, they leave. And so the Tates have always tried tactics to get people to stay. Like they've said, Hustlers University was closing. It's almost full. We do have a cap. So anyone who quits or leaves any time, if the cap is reached while you're not subscribed, you're not getting in. Don't give a shit. That's it. We're closing. We're closing. But now the new angle is this real world token. Tate is promising a crypto airdrop to people who subscribe and stay subscribed to his monthly Get Rich Quick course. It's also very important for you people who think you can join for a month and quit the real world and just go back to being <laughs> nobody. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You have to stay inside to increase your rank, to get your power level. Because if you quit and then you rejoin, you lose all your power points. So why would you lose all your power points to save $49? It doesn't even make sense. Okay, so Tate's new plan is that you buy a Get Rich Quick course, gain power points, you have to stay subscribed to keep your power points, and then they say they will pay you a percentage that their school makes. The goal is that you can buy the token and own a percentage of the school. So imagine you sign up for the real world, you start to make money, you focus on your tasks, then you can invest that money in the real world token and get paid every single month a monthly dividend from the profits of the school. All right. I think I get it. So you got the people at the bottom, they're paying up into the course, into the school. Then you got the people higher with higher power levels. They're making money from people at the bottom with the coin. And then that all that money flows up. It's just kind of this nice little pyramid scheme. Uh, come to think of it, it is a little surprising that Tate claims to be working hand in hand with the SEC on this. I am working with the SEC so that the real world token can be launched as a security. Now, maybe that is all true, but maybe Tate actually has another plan. SEC, come for me. I'm in Romania. There ain't no SEC in Romania. We're f***ing scammers. We're, f***ing. We're out here doing what we want. I'm going to pump a coin up, make 10 M, peel it off. Well, I'll be honest. He literally just said what he was about to do. He literally said. He's about to pump a coin up and peel it off. Meaning he can finna use all of y'all money and <laughs> pump and dump. Meaning that y'all gonna put all y'all money into this coin. He gonna take it all and the coin gonna go to zero. He just told y'all what he gonna do and he's literally actively doing it. He said he was a scammer. He talks too much. That's why he's his downfall is going down people like him don't last long people like him just don't last long that could be it too now at this point i had significant evidence of tate lying about crypto endorsements not profiting and using his followers as a piggy bank to pump crypto so i figured now is the perfect time to approach tate and get his response for comment his side of the story so i emailed him and his brother a list of questions about several meme coins they promoted as well as the real world token but instead of replying, Tate leaked my email address online and sent his war room after me, told them to email me that I'm gay. He even offered to pay money if they could prove they did it. For every single person who can show me they have emailed CoffeeZilla and called him gay, I will buy daddy. Well, that escalated quickly. So um, let me just see if I get the plan right here. The plan is uh, dislike and call someone gay. So the alpha male you like buys daddy coins for you. Got it. 800 emails later, a word cloud of Tate's war room will give you a sense of who these guys are. But I'll also share this email I got. It's not personal coffee breaks. I really want Andrew to raise the price of daddy's coin. And he says he's going to pump money into the coin. Trust me, it's nothing personal, but I bought a lot of the coin and I have to do this. So please forgive me. I mean, you can almost smell the desperation. Get rich quick by hurtling slurs at a journalist. But absurdity aside, I have to say this is disgusting. It's not normal to be mocking people based on internal characteristics. And even though I have thick skin, I will admit some of it got to me. Specifically, Tate called me a DNG, a dork nerd geek. I'll admit he hit a nerve here. Now, before I get 800 emails about being a nerd, I'll tell you the reason I'm annoyed may not be what you think. Sure, I might use word clouds from time to time, but I just couldn't believe who it was coming from. These two, these two guys, I've seen their live streams. And I gotta say, the Tates give me real competition in the dork nerd geek department. You can join.
join the council via the courses tab. Then, of course, we will have kings, rooks, bishops, knights. You will all get a base allocation. This means that if you're a knight, you should work as hard as possible to become a bishop, to work as hard as possible to become a rook, to work as hard as possible to become a king, because you know the day this imaginary project comes true, you will be rewarded for all of that hard work and cold hard cash. <laughs> okay, let me start by saying there's nothing wrong with being a geek or a nerd, but anyone who has a council to join <laughs> entitles people bishops, rooks, and knights loses the right to the pejorative. Newsflash, the Tate brothers are nerds. They're nerds on steroids. For legal reasons, I mean that figuratively. But haven't you know? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, because yeah, I said that at the beginning. I got it from him. Just, yeah. But they right. He's right. They're nerds on steroids. <laughs> Which, nothing wrong with being a nerd. I swear, if I can go back to high school and all that, I'm hanging out with the nerds. I ain't hanging with no broke wannabe gangster people, bro. The nerds is where the money at. You feel me? That's what I, I want to be. I aspire to be a nerd. You feel me? I'm on the internet just like the nerds be. Making internet money just like the nerds be doing. That's my aspiration. You feel me? Noticed that they are obsessed with the Matrix, councils, and chess. All things very much in the domain of nerds. Just because you try to slap a rented supercar in the middle of all of it doesn't mean we're fooled. Anyone who says increase your power levels is automatically a massive nerd. But beyond this cope, Andrew Tate's real opponent isn't even me. It's himself. He's the one who said horrible things about people who launch influencer coins. There's no such thing as free money. For everyone who wins, someone else must lose. You buy a coin for a dollar and sell it for $10, someone bought it at $10. If it then goes down, the person who bought it at $10 loses money. I do not want any of my fans to ever lose money in my name ever because I don't need money, so I refuse to sell out my fans for money. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Tate was right about that. But now he's doing exactly what he ranted against, extracting money from his fans, promoting garbage that is now down 90%. Meanwhile, the exact people defending Tate blindly are the same people who are gonna be holding the bags in a few months, wondering why they aren't rich. Of course, by then, Tate will have something new to sell them. And that is the story of Andrew Tate's new crypto exploits. All right, can you get me a Pinot Grigio, please? It has been a long day with very stupid people. White wine? Surely that's not what you want in this episode, right? What's the big deal? Oh, uh, it's fine, but they might be watching. They? Who's, th who's the, oh, you mean um, the Matrix? No, even worse. The alpha males. Ah, right. Um, okay, scratch that. I'll just have your finest whiskey then. Um, shaken, not... Whatever, just give me that in a cigar, please. Oh, who are we kidding? You're not being the allegations, Coffee. What allegations? Well, I was gonna wait to break it to you, but the allegation that your nerd levels are also off the charts. <laughs> Oh, that's what you're worried about? Yeah, I'm a nerd. What's the big deal? What's the what's the big deal? Copy. These tape fans are going to eat you alive. No, they're not. I've got these guys figured out. It's the one thing I learned while researching Tate. You can do whatever you want. You can be as nerdy as you want. You can even tell these people to their face that they're going to get scammed. But as long as you end it with a flashy sequence in a sports car, they'll love you for it. <laughs> <laughs> you. Coffeezilla, keep doing your thing, Coffee man. You're doing God's work. Cause it's like people like to be scammed. I don't. I don't know what it is. People just love being scammed. I guess it is what it is. You feel me? But please don't buy that coin. Don't buy no meme coins. All these meme coins has a ninety nine point nine percent failure rate. If you're gonna buy a crypto coin, buy something that you know has longevity. Long longevity, such as regular Bitcoin, Ethereum. I'm not promoting any of them. I'm just saying. Look, do your research into the ones. Don't be buying none of these meme coins these entertainers be making up. They will fail. Majority of the time, they will fail. But, hey, thank you guys for watching the video. Hey, see you guys next video. Always remember, be safe for the kings and queens. Let's get it.